Good evening. Good evening, Irene. How are you? I am very well. Thank you for asking, teacher, and you. I'm doing okay. Thank you. How was your day? My day was very busy. Uh huh. I am happy. <laughs> good, good, good. That's the idea that we are happy and satisfied with what we have. Yeah, that's okay. Right, right. Mario. Hi, good evening. How good evening. You? Good, good. I'm okay. How are you? Very good. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Nice, nice. How was your day, Mario? Uh, a little, a little bit tough because we are working with the financial statements from this financial close statement in October. So uh, I was working a lot. And right now I'm I'm trying to to be here in English class and have a dinner. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good. Thanks for the effort. Oh uh, no, no problem. Okay. Erenia, how are you? Hi. I'm all right. Thank you for asking. Yes, it, it's been a while since we last uh saw you. Yes, I've been asking because I've been a little bit busy because it's the, the season where I have to help my husband with his business. So, oh, yeah. Okay. What, what kind of business does he have? He has a, I don't know if it is shoe store or shoe shop. Uh, a shoe store. A shoe store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. In Lourdes. Yes. Good, good. Nice. Nice. Rocio. Can you hear Hello. me, Rocio? How are yes. you? Fine, fine, thanks. thanks. Did you have a good day? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, it was unusual, but, uh -huh. but, uh, but everything okay. Good, good, good. Good. Mm -hmm. good, nice. Okay, good. Welcome back, everybody. Um, what's today's date? December 8th. December 8th. What's the year? 2020. Mm -hmm. 2020, exactly. You know, I am in the, in a different part of the house um, because I'm, I'm testing if if I get good internet signal here, but I, I I even have the sensation that it's better than than the first floor. So, anyways, um, do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Do you do you? Let me. What was the topic we discussed yesterday? Did we talk about? Uh, no, it wasn't technology. It was uh, uh, time. Time, time, yes. right. Yeah, we spoke about time. Right. Okay. Any questions or comments? Questions or comments? No? Okay, so um, as, uh, as you can see in the platform, uh, um, there are exercises related with speaking, listening, reading, and writing, but which areas are evaluated in the, um, in the exam? What skills will they evaluate? Reading, comprehension, um, grammatical. Uh-huh, and? Listening. Oh, and listening, 
exactly. So they will evaluate your listening, they will evaluate your grammar, and they will evaluate uh, your reading comprehension. Yes. That is correct. So today, we will do some listening activities and some speaking activities. Um, mm -hmm. Are you ready for the first listening activity? Yes. Okay. Do you guys have pen and paper ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so you guys need pen and paper or if you want to use your computer, that's fine. Okay. Okay. So is Irene, Mario, Erenia, Rocio, Araceli, and Jose. Are you ready for the questions? Good evening. Good evening, yes. Jose. Okay, yes. so question number one. Why is he there? Why is he there? Okay. Second question. Why does he say it's overwhelming? Why does he say it's overwhelming? Question three. What is he studying? What's he studying? Question four. What does he want to specialize in? What does he want to specialize in? And the last question, how would it be expensive? How would it be expensive? Okay, uh, what is the first question? Why is he there? Why is he there? Why is he there? Yeah. What is the second question? Why does he say it's overwhelming? Why does he say it's overwhelming? Why does he say it's overwhelming? Question three. He's studying. What is he studying? What is he studying? Question number four. What does he want to specialize in? What does he want to specialize specialize in okay and what is the last question who would be expensive how uh, how sorry. how would it be expensive how would it be expensive okay compare your uh, questions, do you have the same? Do you have similar? Yes, the same. Yes, the same. <clears throat> Are the questions clear? So the, the last one, how would it be expensive is how, how much? No, uh, in the conversation, you know, the conversation is between a man and a woman. Uh, and the man ask her, uh, but wouldn't that be expensive? And then the lady answers how it would be expensive. So when you get to hear the, the audio, you will understand the question more. Okay. okay. All right. Any questions or comments, people? Yes. Uh-huh. I have around the number two. Okay. <laughs> what is that overwhelming? Can somebody explain overwhelming? What is overwhelming, Irene? Sorry, teacher, I didn't, I didn't listen very well. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Rocío, what's overwhelming? Oh, offensive or exhausting. Okay. Um, overwhelming means abrumador. Okay, thank you. Okay, now what do you understand by the word abrumador or overwhelming? When something is too much for you. Right, right. So imagine you go to work very early in the morning. You come back to your house, you clean your house, you feed your children, you iron, and you prepare tomorrow's lunch. Your day will be overwhelming. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. It's like the exhausted. Yeah, uh, but yeah, it can be physical, but it can also be emotional. So if you say, you know, I have three parciales for tomorrow and I have to study for the three different subjects, that's overwhelming. So in, in that case, they're making reference to a psychological uh, condition. Okay. All right. Any other questions before I play the audio? I think not. Okay, so let me share this here. All right, your attention. Here we go. I will put everybody on silent so we don't have any interruptions. Here we go. Listen to part of a conversation between a student and an advisor at the University Learning Center. Uh, hi, Mrs. Douglas. I'm Jack. I, I made an appointment to talk to you about graduate school. Uh, yeah, come in, Jack. Um, have a seat. Thanks. I've only just started thinking about going to grad school, and I looked at the application, you know, what you have to do to apply here, and I found it a bit overwhelming. You know, writing a personal statement, asking my professors for letters of recommendation, sending transcripts. I've already taken the GRE exams. Okay. So you're applying here? Well, no. I just looked at the application here to see what it was like. I'm finishing up my bachelor's degree in biology, but I'd like to specialize in marine biology, and they don't offer that here. So, have you looked around for universities that offer a doctorate in marine biology? No. I was hoping, well, that's why I came to see you. Okay, Jack. The first thing we need to do is look in our reference books on university programs to find which universities offer a degree in marine biology and make a list. A list? Wouldn't it be kind of expensive to apply to a lot of universities? Well, yeah, if you apply to all of them. Okay. How many answers do you have? One, two, three? I think four. Okay, good. Okay, I will play it once again. Pay attention. Listen to part of a conversation between a student and an advisor at the University Learning Center. Uh, hi, Mrs. Douglas. I'm Jack. I, I made an appointment to talk to you about graduate school. Uh, yeah, come in, Jack. Um, have a seat. Thanks. I've only just started thinking about going to grad school, and I looked at the application, you know, what you have to do to apply here, and I found it a bit overwhelming. You know, writing a personal statement, asking my professors for letters of recommendation, sending transcripts. I've already taken the GRE exams. Okay. So you're applying here? Well, no. I just looked at the application here to see what it was like. I'm finishing up my bachelor's degree in biology, but I'd like to specialize in marine biology, and they don't offer that here. 
So, have you looked around for universities that offer a doctorate in marine biology? No. I was hoping, well, that's why I came to see you. Okay, Jack. The first thing we need to do is look in our reference books on university programs to find which universities offer a degree in marine biology and make a list. A list? Wouldn't it be kind of expensive to apply to a lot of universities? Well, yeah, if you apply to all of them. Are you okay or do you want to hear it once again? I didn't get the number three. What is he studying? Okay. One more time, please. Okay, good, very good. Here we go. So if you feel that the speakers talk fast, you have to be faster. Here we go. Listen to part of a conversation between a student and an advisor at the University Learning Center. Uh, hi, Mrs. Douglas. I'm Jack. I, I made an appointment to talk to you about graduate school. Uh, yeah, come in, Jack. Um, have a seat. Thanks. I've only just started thinking about going to grad school, and I looked at the application, you know, what you have to do to apply here, and I found it a bit overwhelming. You know, writing a personal statement, asking my professors for letters of recommendation, sending transcripts. I've already taken the GRE exams. Okay. So you're applying here? Well, no. I just looked at the application here to see what it was like. I'm finishing up my bachelor's degree in biology, but I'd like to specialize in marine biology, and they don't offer that here. So, have you looked around for universities that offer a doctorate in marine biology? No. I was hoping, well, that's why I came to see you. Okay, Jack. The first thing we need to do is look in our reference books on university programs to find which universities offer a degree in marine biology and make a list. A list? Wouldn't it be kind of expensive to apply to a lot of universities? Well, yeah, if you apply to all of them. All right. First question, why is he there? Anybody? For an appointment in graduate school. It's an appointment for a graduate school, but grad school. Grad, old, grad no, school? Grad school. Let me write grad it in school. the chat. Ah, okay. Very good, Mario. Uh, he's there to talk about grad school. Uh -huh, Th yes. does, does anybody know the meaning of grad school? Conseje es como con hacer una evaluación psicológica para saber qué quieres estudiar, me imagino yo. No. Not really. Uh, Hi. Your bachelor, you want to study a doctorate? Exactly. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, 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 how do you say licenciatura in English? Bachelor's. 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 So, let's say you have a bachelor's degree, you're an engineer, uh, you're an architect, but you want to study more, you go to grad school. Uh, this is the name of the schools in the United States when you study a master's. Mm, okay. Yeah, that's grad school. So grad is the short form to say graduate school. So mm -hmm. everybody that attends there, they already graduated from something. They already have a profession. So they call it grad school. Got it? Okay. Yeah. All right, good. So why does he say it's overwhelming? He mentions three examples. Because he because says he a, lot of, a lot of. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Go ahead. He has to ask for letters of recommendation and he has to send transcripts. Uh huh. Okay, one more. Because they have a lot of applications, for example, the GRI exam or. 
Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, so he says, but I find it a little bit overwhelming. And then he says, uh, write, writing personal statements, ask professors for letters of recommendations, and sending transcripts. Do you understand the three examples he mentions? Writing personal statement. What is a personal statement? Mm. Okay. Personal statement is like uh, all the, like you have to put your name, address, number, uh, email, etc. like the personal information, no? Okay, a personal statement is like a cover letter. You need to explain why you want to study that particular uh, career. Uh, okay. That's a personal statement. Hello, my name is Francisco Marroquin. I'm 49 years old, and I want to study a, a, a master's in uh, business administration because blah, 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 blah. So that's a personal statement, right? Mm, okay. Uh, he also mentions as professors for letters of recommendations. Mm -hmm. Is that clear? Yes. yes. And, and what is the meaning of transcripts? He says sending transcripts. <clears throat> Let's say if you if you're studying in this university and you want to change to another one, you have to present transcripts of the subjects you already uh, studied. Got it? Okay. What is that word in Spanish in El Salvador? Como las equivalencias. Yep. That's exactly what it is. Transcripts. Yes. Now, what is he studying? Biology. biology. What, a technical in biology? High school in biology? Are in biology. But what is he studying? Bachelor. Exactly. Did he say bachelor's or did he say BA? BA. Yes. So he says BA of biology. I'm finishing my BA of biology. Mm -hmm. Licenciatura en biología. BA Boring. of biology. Okay. What does he want to specialize in? Marine biology. Marine biology. Now, what do you understand by the word marine? Biología marina. <laughs> okay, but what is marine? The, the, the animals that live in the water. Live in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess they are making reference to uh, plants and animals that live in the ocean. But maybe that includes lakes and rivers too, lagoons, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, but marine is most likely uh, they're talking about oceans. Yes. Um, how would it be expensive? Depend the lease that he wants. What is it? Depend uh, the list of specialists he, he wants. Okay, but what does the woman say about, because he asked, wouldn't that be expensive? And then the lady answers something. What does she answer? Because he thinks that it's going to be expensive if he applies to a lot of universities. Exactly. 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 Only some of them. Right, because the lady, she says, she's saying, well, the first thing we need to do is make a list with the universities that offer that career. And then the guy says, wouldn't that be expensive? And then the lady says, well, if you apply to all of them, yes, it will be expensive. You see it? Yeah. All right. Any questions about the listening? So uh, their speaking, their pronunciation is clear but there are times that they speak fast. So um, if the speakers go fast, uh, the listener has to be faster. Simple as that. 
Teacher. Yes. Sorry, I have a question. Uh huh. Um, do you have a tip about for listening when the audio or, like, or the listening is very fast? Okay. Uh, this is how they um, when you take the exam, you will see the questions only. No, you will see the answers only. Sorry, you will he you will see the answers only. So um, you're listening to it. The bad thing about the TOEFL exam is that you cannot take notes. You cannot take notes. So right there, you have to make a combination of mixing your listening comprehension plus your retention. You see it? Mm -hmm. okay. So, okay, how much do I understand? And sometimes the, the audios are uh, a minute, a minute and a half. So it's not only about how much you understand, but how much you remember. Mm -hmm. So when you're taking the exam, once again, you have access to the answers because everything is multiple choice, multiple choice. But you don't know what the question will be. And that's why all your attention has to be like 100% active. And yep. the questions are also set in the audio. The, yeah, they're set in the audio, but you will never see them on paper. Never. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Any questions? No, thank you. Okay. In, remember, there are... Um, several universities in El Salvador that regardless of the career that you study, it is necessary and mandatory that the person takes the TOEFL or the TOEIC exam. So you might be the best student in the university, you study law, business administration, medicine, whatever. Uh, but if you, don't, if you don't pass the TOEFL exam, you don't graduate, simple as that. Uh, Gavidia, Matias, Tecnológica. But Ed not, not for all the careers. Uh, la Matias, they ask you for any career. I, I'm pretty sure. I, I think not because my husband is finishing his career and he didn't... Uh, Take the exam. What career did he finish? He ingeniería en alimentos. Okay. Well, maybe there are... Uh, yeah, maybe not all the careers, but what I do know is that um, some careers that have nothing to do with English, they ask them to uh, to take the exam. Uh -huh, because also my brother-in-law uh -huh. studied there and he studied ingeniería en logística. Uh huh. Then take the exam either. Oh, okay. So maybe they have changed um, some they careers, maybe. Some courses, but not the exam. Okay, all mm -hmm. right. Because I do know some people that they studied in La Matias and they, um, they needed to pass the exam. And maybe, uh, yeah, careers that are somehow more related to the language than others. I mean, um, nowadays, all the careers are related to English, you know? There are no exceptions, but mm -hmm. I guess they have more priority than others. Uh -huh. Yep. Okay, any other questions or comments? No? All right. No. So now it's time to practice some speaking. I see this here. We're going to be talking our about our wonderful public transportation we have in El Salvador. Okay, can you see the questions? Yes. yes. Okay. Eight to nine p.m. Where are you guys? Eight to nine, right here. So these are the questions you will be discussing. 
Let me make the pairs. Create. And here we go. Can you hear me, Norma? Araceli, can you hear me?
in that that was a dream <laughs> for yeah. the for the government, but in after the pandemic, it's, it's very remote, remote, <laughs> it, remote. I, I don't know how to say. It's, it's only it because I think he wants a donation that the president wants a donation but in our times i don't think we can buy or something and the the whole the whole project from anybody is too expensive yes just to have for the the care, the care or, or health about the virus. Because in, uh, the people says, different people or different doctor says uh, that in January, January on February, um, will be the will be again the virus is very is very um is very sad for this they have said that in january or february is going to be a, a second wave or something like yes. that yes yes second second the again the virus because the people don't use the mask mask on the and the different on the different uh strategy for the M many in many illness about uh, respiratory <laughs> breathing breath, breathing breathing maybe breathing illness uh, respiratory <laughs> illnesses ah, <laughs> yeah respiratory thank you Good. Um, in other in other illnesses about relation with with uh, with uh, uh, sorry po um, pollution pollution yes. charge okay mm -hmm. probably i will charge from this public transportation but yeah. when the the country mm -hmm. was stopped in this situation yes yes in this case probably will be expensive more expensive than, than the public transportation and i don't know if all the people can pay that. Maybe they have to use bicycles or something. Or, but, mm. or maybe not. Maybe if you put the, the same uh, the same price. And for example, mm. uh, I uh, I try to to search what kind of of road uh, mm. bus uh, is more frequently used. And 
I tried to uh, copy that route okay. and and do it the same. So I mm. maybe I I can go to the for example if I if I use the 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 time or, or the road of the 44 mm -hmm. and I try to use this the same road with my micro bus and mm -hmm. I and I ask for 25 cents from each uh, person that use my micro bus maybe they they I can have the a lot of money in a day or in a week because Maybe, all the yeah. public, all the public transportation was stopped. So yes, sure. But it's an it's an idea. It's an idea, but yes. Maybe I doing that. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> it's because you don't have the experience. <laughs> but I don't know, uh, because my husband. Pero. What the what the question is? What number question? We were talking about what are the the main problems of transportation here in our country. Um, are they in your country? Uh, what what transportation problems are there in your country? Um. In my country, the transportation is no, no, no problem. No problem. No problem because I live in uh, in the Cuscata in the Cuscatan Cinco. Oh, uh, the road, the road public is a uh, twenty. The number twenty. The the transportation public is very very fast. In and 20, 20 minutes, I go, I, I go, see, sí, I go, I go, yo voy, uh -huh. I go, in, I go into the, my, my job in 20 minutes. There's no fast. traffic in there. What? There's no traffic there. No, 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 it's not traffic. It's not traffic. But Is what about if you want to go to San Salvador or another place? Uh, 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 ah, the trains always, yes. Mm -hmm. It may be in the respect the schedule because uh, here, for example, the buses, maybe they are uh, parking for a long time in the same place place and when they look the next bus is coming until that moment they are away you can get you can lose your your feet maybe <laughs> yeah sometimes they are at the same time and they are fighting for bus passengers <laughs> yeah in other countries Hey, Jose, Nubia, eh, da, da transporte. Um, I've been in the Dodge. Do you know uh -huh. where the Dodge? <laughs> yeah, I know the Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you know Irene Nubia what, what is the Doge? Yeah, I imagine, but I <laughs> I okay. I guess in no country maybe five different kinds of transportation for because the airplane, the motorcycle, the cars, the bus, uh, yeah. the other is a bicycle nowadays. Five subway. Uh, the subway in the in in our country there aren't <laughs> yes they they have different kind of transportation yes maybe uh -huh. maybe when 
en Italy. De morotaxis. Morotaxis, yes. <laughs> no, de, 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 de water transportation, too. And some, some countries, some places, they have, or, or here in the Salvador, when you have to different islands, you have to take the transportation, tranvia, have you heard that? They use around close to the, I don't remember exactly, the frontera de Honduras. Amatillo? Ah, close to Amatillo, yes. They have to take the tranvia and they have to, to travel in water. You mean the ferry? Ferry, yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. It's a kind of transportation. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's like when you go from um, Suchitoto, you cross the, the the name of the lake they have there. And if you want to go to Chalate. Ah, yes. It's true too. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. and, it's, right. And, and it's very useful. Yes. Uh-huh. Right. And the next one, how many different kinds of transportation? Ah, no, it's the same. And will the quality quality of transportation in your country get better or worse? For me, the better is in our airplane. <laughs> the worse is a, is in a bus, in a bus. <laughs> I, I remember once I, I use the ta taxi aéreo from mm -hmm. Ilopango to Honduras. No, to Nicaragua. <laughs> was was an airplane? In Ilopango here? Yes. Yeah, but like, it, it, was it an airplane? Yes, a little airplane, yes. Okay. Okay. Do but, you remember how much you paid? Uh, the company was paid, but I remember that was around 300, 200, 200, 300 colones. It's a, it's a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, 300 colones. <laughs> even, yeah. even if you were to say $300, that's a little bit cheap. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, but that's more very hard in the, in the air, Francisco. Okay, mm -hmm. so the, 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 the trip was not too comfortable, you can say. <laughs> no. Okay. No, that was a, a, a lot of turbulence. Yeah, a lot of turbulence. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Yeah. Erenia. Hi. So you've been helping your husband in his business. All right, welcome back. Uh, any questions uh, about transportation? How can you define public transportation in El Salvador? Define. <laughs> yeah, how would you define it? It's a, it's a kind of transportation when the people use, uh, the, the popular use, Okay, and what is your concept about public transportation in El Salvador? What is your opinion? Mm. Very bad. <laughs> it's bad. Yeah. Very efficient. Yeah, it's deficient. It's very bad. It needs to improve. It needs changes. Uh, the conditions of the bus need to be better. Uh, the treatment from the bus driver needs to be better. I mean, there are so many things that need to be changed. 
So mm -hmm. many. Okay. All right. So uh, sometimes they have to. They don't have to change the units. They they have to change the people who work there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> And in some cases, the units with the people that work for the units. Yep. <laughs> okay. So um, remember, there are the TOEFL exam has two different versions. The first version, the easiest version, is paper based. What is paper based? They give you uh, a booklet where you find uh, the the answers and the reading passages, and they give you a paper, which is the answer sheet. That is the easiest uh, exam. Then you have the IBT version. IBT stands for Internet-Based Test, IBT. That one evaluates the four skills plus grammar. So that one is uh, 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 more demanding. They ask you questions and you need to respond and record your voice. That is one. They ask you questions, they ask for your opinion and you need to type your answer. You have the reading comprehension, you read. They ask you questions and you need to answer too. So how do they evaluate your grammar? They evaluate your grammar, the way you speak and the way you write. So uh, they evaluate five things. So like I said, there is, a, there is a section in the platform where they uh, talk about grammar. Let me ask you, uh, what challenges do you face when you are speaking? What do you consider um, your limits are? In case listening. Okay. Speaking. <laughs> Okay, so, so you have listening, speaking, reading, and writing. So uh, some people say, look, listening is, is particularly uh, difficult for me. Some people say, well, it might be speaking. You know, maybe I need to improve my grammar. Maybe I need to improve pronunciation. Maybe I need to expand vocabulary and, uh, and, and different things. Now, when you are speaking, what are the difficulties you encounter? when you're speaking? For me? Mm -hmm. the... Yes? Mm -hmm. Irene? In my case, the fluency teacher, because uh, some words are difficult pro to pronounce for me. Okay, yeah. Now, do you remember, now that Irene is mentioning, do you remember the five things you need to know about a word? what five aspects are necessary for everybody to know about a particular word? Meaning, pronunciation. Uh -huh. uh, I don't remember the other one. Okay, meaning, <laughs> pronunciation. Um, what else, people? Okay, meaning, pronunciation. Okay, the spelling. Writing. Yes, the spelling. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm -hmm. In context. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you see the chat? Oh. Okay, those are the five things a person should know about a new word. You should know the meaning, pronunciation, the spelling, how to use it, and the power of speech. Now, what do I mean with the power of speech? The part of grammar. How many parts does grammar have? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure there. American version has eight parts. Eight parts. Verbs, <laughs> nouns, adjectives, blah, blah, blah. Eight parts. How many parts does the British version have? Nine parts. What is the difference? 
That is the difference. You see the chat? Yeah. Okay. What if I ask you, do you have money? Do you have money? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes. yes. What if I say, do you have the money? Do you think the question is different? Yes, it's different when you mention that you are being specific. Exactly. Exactly. So Americans, they don't consider definite article to be as important. They say, no, it's important, but it's not going to be part of our eight parts of speech. The British, they think different and they say, look, this small word, this particular word changes the meaning of mm -hmm. everything that you are saying. And I completely agree more with the British version because it, it is right. When you're using that particular word, the meaning of what you're saying changes. Yeah. Right. right. Okay, so we will continue talking about this tomorrow. Uh, do you have any questions about today? No, teacher. That's, that's no. five. That five thing, do you? You need to know about a new word. Or, or not necessarily about a new word, like every word. So let's say the. What is the meaning? Oh, we use da da da. What is the pronunciation? What is the spelling? How to use it? And the part of speech. When I say part of speech, I'm making reference to the part of grammar. We'll be talking about this tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.